What's that? Yeah. That, oh, is it raining? Oh, it does rain, and you guys. Oh my God. All right. Uh, Thursday's done with. Um, guys are uh, working hard and preparing. Um, you know, it's like anything else. You know, we we know what we need to work on. We're working on it, and. Um, Get another day, and then we'll get to uh, put on display um, our preparation uh, for Missouri. A good football team, and uh, you know, it should be a great atmosphere, a great challenge for us. But um, guys are looking forward to it, no doubt. So, good questions. Brian, how much of it is uh, preparation and you know, planning, and how much of it is attitude? You talked after the game about wanting your team to be pissed off. Have you seen that in them this week? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to say that, um, you know, if, if, if you had just, you know, mad about things and, and um, upset about it, that it all just would come together. I, I think there's definitely a, a, a piece of, you know, playing this game where there has to be some grit and resolve and um, a willingness. Um, to uh, you know, to to do what's necessary, but I think that that's in the preparation. I think it's um, doing your job. Um, and look, here, here's the thing: we're we're going to give our guys the blueprint, um, but they have to fix it. I, I can't fix it. I'm not a very good player. That's why I got into coaching, um, and 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 I'm confident that they will. Um, so I've seen a resolve in our guys. Um, the attention's been great. Um, the meetings have been great. And I'm excited to, uh, you know, watch them play. Um, Luther Burden's a guy that they use so much in their offense. It's really designed a lot around him. Just what's the message as a defense knowing that they're going to try to get him involved and get, you know, he's going to get his touches and whatnot, but about right. limiting his effectiveness, I guess, in those touches. Well, I think there's times where you have to understand that there are some things that you have to do to minimize um, his effect on the game. But, you, you know, I said this to somebody today, you know, last week we tried to defend everything. And when you try to defend everything, you defend nothing. And... You know, when you when you talk about a guy like Luther, or you talk about a guy like, um, you know, Malik Neighbors, if if that's all your game plan is, sometimes you don't defend, you know, um, Theo Weiss, who's an outstanding player, or you forget about, you know, the number two running back in the league, um, and and so, yeah, are we going to have to be aware of them in certain situations, and and do we have some things that address it? Absolutely, but. You got to play the other ten guys too. Thank you. Hey, coach. Uh, about Deuce, he didn't travel to Oxford because of a coach's decision. You said. Uh, can you elaborate elaborate uh, more on that? As if it's a performance-based thing or injury-based thing? Yeah, uh, Deuce is uh, is not with our team right now, um, and uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll make a decision on his status, um, you know, in the next few weeks. Uh, coach, any update on the injury report? Yes. Um, doubtful will be Chris Hinton, uh, Omar Spate, and our third is Aaron Anderson. Those three are doubtful. When you're facing these quick strike offenses, does the thought process of possession become more important? Diggs is really looking like he's finding something with some aggressive running, the offensive line kind of coming together. Is that an option that you would lean on or would like to lean on? Um, I, you know, again, a similar question was posed to me relative to the running game, and I, and, and I don't know that I want to detract from who we are, you know, from an offensive standpoint. I think we still want to find the kind of balance that we're um, you know, having offensively. Look, if they want to play us in double cloud, uh, three high with a light box, we're going to run the ball a whole lot. Um, if we, we've been getting a whole lot of cover one and man to man situations, and you've seen what we've done. So um, it really will be dictated about 
how teams play. And but there are some times that we just have to say, look, we're going to run the football here, and and we got to run through some tackles. And that's where Logan Diggs has been really effective. He's run through some free hat hits, which we call when the safety's coming down, and we're just we're just going to have to. You own him. That's why you're on scholarship. <laughs> Coach Ryder, yeah. um, y'all have been one of the best uh, first down offenses in the country. Just what has gone into being so effective on those on those plays specifically? Well, I think there's a number of things that have gone well there. Um, you know, our stuff rate is is probably one of the lowest in the country. Uh, we're not operating behind the chains. Uh, our first down efficiency has been one where um, they've been positive plays, uh, in particular um, based upon um, a, a number of factors, and it starts with the offensive line. You know, we don't have run-throughs. We don't have a lot of misassignments up front where, you know, teams are, are a little bit aggressive on first down where they're trying to get us behind the chains. Uh, we've done a really, really good job of minimizing uh, negative plays on first down, and a lot of that has to do with the quarterback getting us in the right play, and um, obviously the offensive line. And you know what we do offensively gives us some run pass options if teams are a little bit too aggressive, where we can get the ball out on the perimeter. Coach, about the defense, would you say it's more so little things that can get cleaned up during the season, or is it more of you just don't have the personnel on the roster this year? You know, it's, it's never going to be one thing or the other. Um, it's, when, when, when you have some problems, that they're never going to be just one thing. Um, as, as I've mentioned a number of times, um, you know, we lost eight of our top 11 tacklers. So we have some young guys that uh, are, are playing for us in the back end. Um, however, there's a lot of air in our defense, and we've got to take the air out of our defense. In other words, we have to do a better job up front. I think we can immediately uh, make an impact there. Um, and that's where it starts. You have to start at the line of scrimmage. This game is not that complicated when it comes to breaking down where are the areas that you need to improve? We need to improve at the line of scrimmage. If we improve at the line of scrimmage, we create less air in our defense. And by doing so, we put our guys in better tackling positions. If those two things come together, um, we're going to be improved right away. And I expect that to happen this Saturday. Uh, were you able to meet with Pete? Has he been impactful at all this week? And, and you talked about the line of scrimmage. Were there some issues with spacing off ball as far as that you could identify? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, you know, Pete's made a, you know, he's, he's come in and, and I think his, uh, his eyes and looking at things, he's been able to um, make some technique adjustments. It's going to take some time, you know, obviously um, to, to make the kind of impact that, that you can, you know, see for the long haul. But it's, I think it's, from my perspective, it's been, um, it's been really good meeting with him, spending time with him, um, you know, going over the techniques necessary for us to make the kind of um, improvements necessary right away for this weekend. Um, so I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed having him here. Uh, he loves LSU. Um, he's got an incredible, um, uh, I would say, resume of knowledge and, and the believability factor with our players uh, is immediate. So I think all those things are a positive thing, but it, you know, it's still going to take us, you know, some time to continue to, you know, work on the techniques necessary. Um, but, you know, I just probably wish I did it sooner. Ryan, in terms of uh, maybe Jordan Jefferson and Deshaun Womack, a couple of guys, especially Deshaun, like didn't really play defensively against Ole Miss. Would you like for Deshaun and Jordan to be, be, be bigger pieces, even if they aren't necessarily full three down players uh, moving forward? Yeah, Jordan Jefferson is going to play. Um, um, Jacoby is going to play. Um, uh, Wingo. Um, uh, let's see who else. Uh, Mason Smith, um, Savion, and Parrish Shan. So those eight guys, 
and then you're going to add the two jacks in Swinson and Ovi. So that's really, you're going to see them all in a rotation and Womack. So we're going to have a, a, a rotation of all those D linemen coming in and out of the game, and, and they all can help us win. So we're only going to play guys that can help us win. All those guys can help us win. Good? All right, we'll see you in Columbia. Bring your Columbia jackets. That was a joke.